Greetings, friends. Mishinichnas Adar Marbim Basimcha. When Adar enters, we increase Simcha. The month of Adar is beginning this week, next week. What cause is there for Simcha? The world is reeling in confusion. The plague does not appear to be diminishing. <clears throat> Chaos is everywhere. <clears throat> People are drowning in sorrows. Nations are girding swords against each other. What objective reason is there to be the Simcha? I'll give you a good reason, my friends. Hashem is preparing the world for the imminent arrival of Mashiach ben David, and he's giving us an un a mistakable sign of Simcha. What is it? It's raining in Israel. <clears throat> the year started out in a worrisome way. There was a big storm right after Sukkot, and then weeks of dry weather it was not just not raining. I spoke about it in this column. I think people started to daven for rain. Interestingly enough, the tractate that was being learned in Daf Yomi during this period was Meseches Tainus, which discusses communal fasting as the result of a lack of rain. We learn Meseches Tainus and Davin for rain, and then rain began to fall. Baruch Hashem, <clears throat> rain has been falling heavily over the past few weeks in Israel. And this is a tremendous sign of blessing from heaven. We have to try to understand what Hashem is telling us. We will not understand truth by reading the headlines. What we call news is sheker lies, distortions, twisting of reality. News emanates from the world of impurity that we should be avoiding with all our strength. World culture is collapsing like the world of Mitzrayim that we just learned about in the Chumash. People are obsessed with the news from this collapsing world, the world of Edom, the activities of people who do not know that Torah exists. Our world is Torah. And to understand Torah, the only way is to open the Chumash, the Mishnah, the Gemara, Halacha, Musar, and the commentaries of the Gedolim, so we may learn how Hashem operates the world and how Hashem wants us to live. Hashem puts the natural world to sleep during the winter. During these days, Am Yisrael lights the world by studying Torah, Yomam Velayla, by day and night. We sustain the world, literally, through our Torah. At all times, day and night, there are Yidin learning Torah. And that is why the world continues to exist. This is especially visible in the Yom Tov of Hanukkah, which occurs during the darkest period of the year. <clears throat> the light of Hanukkah is the light of Torah. During this period, the seeds of renewal are lying buried in darkness between, beneath the earth. In Chodesh, the month of Kislev, we light the menorah. In Chodesh Shavat, the sap starts flowing 
invisibly but inexorably in the trees. Amazingly, it flows upward. <clears throat> yes, it flows against gravity, against nature, which is precisely what we as Jews do in our daily life. Through our Torah, we conquer nature and rise upward against gravity. And in Chodesh Adar, we are filled with happiness because we know that within the trees of the forest and the roots of all plants, an invisible process is taking place through which the earth is preparing to explode in a sunburst of warmth, sunlight, flowers and green leaves, life-giving fruit and grain. Hashem is planning our redemption behind the scenes and the rain is pouring down on Eretz Yisrael, watering the parched seeds buried beneath the earth. Do not doubt that the redemption is close. Mishinichnas Adar, Marvin Besimcha, when Adar comes, Simcha increases. <clears throat> and this year, we have even greater Simcha because we have two months of Adar. This coming Wednesday ushers in Adar Rishon. Quote from the Medrash. Rabbi Shmuel Bar Nachman opened his discourse. The tribes, meaning Yosef's brothers, were preoccupied with the selling of Yosef. And Yosef was preoccupied with his sackcloth and his fasting. Ruvain was preoccupied with his sackcloth and his fasting. And Yehuda was preoccupied with selecting a wife. And at the same time, the Holy One, the Kaddish Baruch Hu, blessed is He, was busy creating the light of Mashiach. Such concealment is the hallmark by which God prepares for the arrival of Mashiach. And this is a quote from the Art Scroll Commentary on the Medrash, which I just read. The Gemara states, three things come at a time when one's attention is diverted. In other words, they come when you least expect them. They are Mashiach, that's the first, of the things that come when one's attention is diverted, when the nation is beset by difficulty, when every hand is turned against us, when it seems there's no hope, it's precisely then that the seeds of Mashiach are sown and begin to sprout. Mishinechnas Adar Marbim Basimcha. Watch the raindrops and thank Hashem. Chodesh Tov Umavarach, the month of Adar is coming, filled with blessings. Good Shabbos.